Hey friends, hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the multiple choice questions based on the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun, written by William Shakespeare. So, without wasting much time, let us start. Question number one. My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun, serves as an example of a sonnet because it dash dash dash. The options are A. Expresses the observations and feeling of a single speaker. B. Has 14 lines that follow a specific rhyme scheme. C. Celebrates or honors a person, object or idea. And D. Tells a story in verse. The right answer is, has 14 lines that follow a specific rhyme scheme. My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun serves an example of a sonnet because it has 14 lines that follow a specific rhyme scheme. Question number two. The poem, My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun has dash 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 rhyme scheme. The options are A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, C, D, E, C, D, E. Option B, A, B, A, B. C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, and G, G. Option C, A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, and G, G. And option D, there is no rhyme in it. The right answer is option B, A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. The poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun, has A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, and G, G rhyme scheme. That is the common rhyme scheme of all the Shakespeare's sonnet. Question number three. The speaker refers to himself as dash dash in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. The options are A, Shakespeare, B, I, C, a poet, and D, a lover. The right answer is option B, I. The speaker refers to himself as I in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. Question number four. Describing his mistress's eyes as nothing like the sun suggests her eyes, dash, dash, dash. Options are A, do not appear as bright as the sun, seem brighter than the sun, C, prove more lovely, and D, seem far more beautiful. The right answer is option A, do not appear as bright as the sun. Describing his mistress's eyes as nothing like the sun suggests that her eyes do not appear as bright as the sun. Question number five. Comparing her lips to coral demonstrates that her lips dash 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 in the poem, my mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. The options are A, seem more beautiful than the reddest coral. B, do not appear as the red coral. C, are very red. And D, prove licious. The right answer is option B, do not appear as red as coral. Comparing her lips to coral demonstrates that her lips do not appear as red as coral in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. Comparing her hair to black wire serves as an example of dash 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 in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. The options are A, sensory detail, B, simile, C. Personification and D. Metaphor. The right option is option D. Metaphor. Comparing a hair to black wires serves as an example of metaphor in the poem My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. Question number seven. The speaker contrasts his mistress's cheeks with dash 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 in the poem My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. The options are A. Coral, B. Roses, C. Music and D. Perfume. The right answer is option B, roses. The speaker contrasts his mistress's cheeks with roses in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. Question number eight. The speaker contrasts his lover's breath with dash 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 in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. The options are A, perfume, B, flowers, C, cheeks, and D, roses. The right answer is option A, perfume. The speaker contrasts his lover's breath with perfume in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. Question number nine. The speaker contrasts his lover's voice with dash 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 in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. The options are A. Waters, B. Music, C. Trumpets, and D. Geese. The right answer is option B. Music. The speaker contrasts his lover's voice with music in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. Question number ten. Unlike a goddess, poet's mistress treads on the ground, 
which suggests that his mistress dash dash dash. The options are A. Seems down to earth. B. Has flaws or imperfections. C. Seems as perfect as an angel. Or D. Enjoys hiking. The right answer is option B. Has flaws or imperfections. Unlike a goddess, poet's mistress spreads on the ground, which suggests that his mistress has flaws or imperfections. Question number 11. Despite her flaws, the speaker considers his love as rare as any she belied with false compare, which means dash dash dash. The options are A. He wishes she were as perfect as the goddess. B. She has an enormous belly. C. His beloved deceives him. And D. He loves her despite her flaws. The right answer is option D. He loves her despite her flaws. Despite her flaws, the speaker considers his love as rare as any she belied with false compare, which means he loves her despite her flaws. Question number 12. The tone of the poem, My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun, seems dash dash dash. The options are A. Affectionate. B. Accepting. C. Hopeful. And D. Pessimistic. The right answer is option B. Accepting. The tone of the poem, My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun, seems accepting. Question number 13. What proves the most obvious feature of Shakespeare's writing style in the poem, My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun? The options are A. Metaphor and juxtaposition. B. Simile and irony. C. Personification and dialect. And D. Alliteration and motif. The right answer is option A. Metaphor and juxtaposition. Metaphor and juxtaposition proves the most obvious feature of Shakespeare's writing style in the poem, My Mistress's Eyes are Nothing Like the Sun. Question number 14. Shakespearean sonnets are also known as dash dash dash. The options are A. Romantic sonnets, B. English sonnets, C. Victorian sonnets, and D. None of the above. The right answer is option B. English sonnets. Shakespearean sonnets are also known as English sonnets. Question number 15. What is a sonnet? The options are A. A poem of 14 lines. B. A poem that has octave and assisted. C. A poem with three quatrains and a couplet. And D. All of the above. The right answer is option D. All of the above. Sonnet is a poem of 14 lines. It is a poem that has an octave and assisted. It is also a poem with three quatrains and a couplet. Question number 16. The lifespan of William Shakespeare is dash dash dash. Options are A. From 1554 to 1616, B. 1552 to 1618, C. 1550 to 1645, and D. 1512 to 1615. The right answer is option A. 1544 to 1616. The lifespan of William Shakespeare is from 1554 to 1616. Question number 17. How many sonnets William Shakespeare has written? The options are A, 137, B, 145, C, 154, and D, 196. The right answer is option C, 154. So Shakespeare has written 154 sonnets. Question number 18. How many plays are written by William Shakespeare? The options are A, 17, B, 37, C, 57, and D, 40. The right answer is option B, 37. Shakespeare has written 37 plays. Question number 19. Who is the central character of the sonnet, My Mistress's Eyes are Nothing Like the Sun? The options are A, Mr. WH, B, Dark Lady, C, A Beautiful Lady, D, None of the Above. The right answer is option B, Dark Lady. The central character of the sonnet, My Mistress's Eyes are Nothing Like the Sun, is the Dark Lady. Question number 20. What is the figure of speech used in the line, My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun? The options are A. Simile, B. Metaphor, C. Repetition, and D. Allegory. The right answer is option A. Simile. The figure of speech simile is used in the line, My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. Question number 21. What is a coral? Options are A. A precious black stone, B. A red colored stone, C. A blue colored stone, D. None of the above. The right answer is option B. A red colored stone. Coral is a precious red colored stone. Question number 22. Shakespeare's sonnets are addressed to dash dash dash. The options are A. Mr. WH. B. Dark Lady. C. Mr. WH and Dark Lady. And D. None of the above. The 
right answer is option C, Mr. W.H. and Dark Lady. Shakespeare's sonnets are addressed to Mr. W.H. and Dark Lady. Question number 23. What is the rhyme scheme of the sonnet, My Mistress's Eyes are Nothing Like the Sun? The options are A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, and G, G. B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, C, A, B, A, B, B, C, B, C, C, D, C, D, and E, E, and none of the above. The right answer is option A, A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, and G, G. The rhyme scheme of the sonnet, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun, is A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, and G, G. This is the common rhyme in all of the Shakespeare's sonnets that one has to remember. Question number 24. What does the line, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun, mean? The options are A. The speaker's mistress's bright shining eyes. B. The mistress's eyes are not yellow. C. The speaker's mistress has flaming eyes. And D. There are no similarities between the mistress's eyes and the sun. The right answer is option D. There are no similarities between the mistress's eyes and the sun. My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun means there are no similarities between the mistress's eyes and that of the sun. Question number 25. Which of the following is not true about the poem My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun? The options are A. The speaker describes the beauty of his beloved with similes. Option B. The speaker believes that his mistress is hideous. Option C. The speaker pokes fun at the clitched similes used to describe women's beauty. And option D. The speaker believes that clitches are the most accurate way to describe someone. The right answer is option C. The speaker pokes fun at the clitched similes used to describe women's beauty. Question number 26. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. The poet contrasts his beloved's movement with that of dash, dash, dash in these lines. The options are A, a rose, B, an angel, C, a goddess, and D, a man. The right answer is option C, a goddess. My mistress is when she walks, treads on the ground. In this line, poet contrasts his beloved's movement with that of the goddess. That's all from the poem, My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.